This training video outlines the steps to drawing a hydraulic diagram using the main library of Automation Studio. It will show the components available in the library, how to find and use similar components, how to link components using lines, how to use default and direct links with edit commands, how to zoom and pan on the diagram, how to change the component layout or position, how to insert components onto a link, and finally, the simulation of the drawing. Create a new project in the Home tab. Select Project, and for this drawing, no template. This opens an empty diagram. Open the Library Explorer on the left for the list of available components and their symbols. They are divided by category. Find the Pump folder. Double-click on a selection, like this single displacement pump, for similar or equivalent components with different characteristics. Here we have some with drains and some with shafts. Drag and drop the selection onto the diagram. This pump needs an engine. Go back into the library for a power unit. Connect the engine symbol directly to the shaft of the pump by dragging and dropping it at the connector. Now, to add a relief valve, go to the Pressure Relief Valve section of the library. Since we want one without a tank, double-click on the relief valve for a list of equivalent components. From the window, drag and drop the component onto the diagram. Each component symbol has an identifier. These are displayed automatically. Later, we will see how to hide them. To change the layout or position of the symbol, go to the Edit tab and click Position. This is used to rotate or flip the component. To complete this circuit, insert a tank from the Reservoir category. Duplicate it and put it at the inlet port of the pump. Place the port directly on the pump. To drain the port, create a link to connect these components. Links are made automatically with the mouse or pointer. And they remain linked even if the components are moved. When moving the component with the arrow or the mouse, the link remains connected to the component. Links with angles can be converted to direct links two ways. Select the line and go to the Links Group command in the Home tab and convert it, or left-click to prompt the Context menu and choose Direct. Now, insert a directional valve. For this example, we are using a simplified model. To find a double actuator, open the cylinder category. Select the symbol and drop it onto the diagram. Complete the drawing by linking the components together. Hovering the mouse over a connector changes the icon into a target. This means it's ready to create a link. To zoom, right-click and select a zoom option. Zoom commands are also available in the View tab, as well as by simply holding the Control key and rolling the wheel of the mouse. To pan the worksheet, hold down the spacebar and left-click the mouse. Panning commands are also available in the View tab and by simply rolling the wheel of the mouse. Now, to insert a restriction with a non-return valve. Duplicate the valve and change its layout position in order to place one valve in the meter in and one valve in the meter out of the cylinder. Then, link them up.
This valve here can be inserted directly onto the line by holding the shift key on the keyboard during the movement. Links that have been created manually automatically configure to changes in the design. Links are automatically rebuilt, even if the component is removed. Let's undo these deletions. And the circuit is completed. Use the context menu to zoom back. To see if the system works, open the Simulation tab and click Normal Simulation. Here the system is animated with line colors and movement.